How's it going everybody? Welcome to We Do Tech. Now previously we took a look at MSI's, with the MSI Lucky Dragon on it, the DP20Z Mini PC, which was a pretty decent home work PC, but that you could also actually game on and was pretty cheap. It was around $800, but it was an entire system right there. And it's also, again, nice and small, which you don't usually get in a gaming a PC. But today, instead of looking at just a small PC, we're going to take a look at an all-in-one system. So this is MSI's Pro AP24-1 all-in-one system. Monitor, system, everything in one small small-ish a package. Now we are somewhat going to compare the AP24-1 against the DP20Z of the names. Uh, see how it compares in benchmarks because this one is running the Intel i5-11400, not 12th gen unfortunately, and this one is running the AMD APU 5300G. So we're gonna see how both of these compare, but one of them might be a bit better for gaming and one might just get an entire package. We're gonna see which one is going to be the perfect fit for your use cases. But just a quick message up from MSI, our sponsor for this video. Are you looking for a newer gaming gear where there's peripherals, hardware, cases, and so on? Well, MSI has what you need, especially with their reasonably priced Pizza Express 3 or 4 NVMe SSDs like the M390 with a solid performance at an affordable price, which we also did a build on. For the case, the Gunnier 110M might just be the perfect fit for your newer build. It still has the same cool design as the 110R, but now with a mesh up front that allows for increased airflow. Better yet, it's even more affordable. Now, if you're instead in need of a power supply, the MPG A850GF is ready for you with an 80 plus gold rating, a 10 year warranty, being fully modular and available in 650, 750 and 850 watts. Lastly, what about peripherals? Well, the GM41 wireless is the one you should check out. Not only is it wireless, but it's also lightweight, only weighing 74 grams, uses the PAW3370 new high-end optical sensor, a battery life up to 70 hours, and it comes with a cool docking station, so you don't need to worry about cables or anything like that, just dock it on there. So check out all of those with the link in the description below. Now quickly going over the specs, uh, first again, uh, this is uh, running the Intel i5-11400, which does have uh, 6 cores and uh, 12 uh, threads. Now RAM-wise, it does come with 8 gigs of DDR4 memory running at 3200 MHz. It does have a 250 gig M.2 SSD. Now graphics-wise, it uh, does use Intel's integrated UHD 730, whereas again, the AMD side does actually use the APU a Vega 3 graphic on this APU, which is a bit stronger. So we'll see how it compares. But now again, all of these do cost $800, but you do get a budget version of the all-in one, which goes for $500. But then you get a Pentium Gold G6405, which only has two cores and four threads, thus comes with four gigs of RAM and only a 120 gig SSD. So very budget oriented there. But the nice thing, again, because it's an all-in-one, you get an entire system along with a screen, and you do actually get included a pair of wireless peripherals and then a webcam included. So actually not bad for an entire combo. Now as for the display, it is a 24 inch full HD IPS display, which actually has really, really good colors. I was actually quite surprised. Uh, now, of course, IPS viewing angles are really good at one, almost 180 degrees. And then also again, uh, colors. Now it's not gonna be any high professional paid work good enough for that, but for media consumption, it was crystal clear and the colors was very vivid. I really enjoyed just watching a couple of videos on it. And of course, also, as you guys can see, the bezels are extremely thin, so that keeps it a nice and a premium look to it as well. Now, you do also have the option of a VESA mounting the monitor on its own, the monitor system, because it's all in one. So you can disconnect it from the stand, which is pretty decent as well. It does keep the system not from falling over, and then you can actually tilt it as well. That's the 
max that you can do with the stand on its own. But otherwise, face, face mount it to the wall, to additional uh, monitor arm, you can do all of that. Now, like I mentioned, you do have the included wireless peripherals, keyboard and a mouse. For the keyboard, it is extremely low profile, as you can see, and it does come with the same uh, chiclet style switches that you get on laptops or on like Mac keyboards. So if you do enjoy that, then this is going to be a pretty nice keyboard for you. It's a decent to type on, it's somewhat a bit mushy, but honestly, I had no problems typing the script on it. Now, as for the mouse, it actually felt pretty decent in my hand. No complaints with the ergonomics of it. You have two side buttons as well. The scroll wheel is pretty decent, but I did find there was a tiny bit of a delay, not anything too crazy, but I wouldn't necessarily play any fast paced games on it. We'll get into that a bit later. So pretty decent for an included mouse and keyboard combo. Again, wireless as well. Now as for the webcam, it's usable, but unfortunately I do find that the mic isn't the best quality. It does come with a dual array mic, but I would definitely keep a pair of headphones or earbuds separate because the microphones isn't the best. All right, so here's just a quick test of uh, the um, webcams, a uh, built-in uh, microphone, and then also image quality. It's a bit overexposed in certain areas, depending on uh, the uh, light direction, but the image quality isn't uh, too uh, bad. Now, the microphones, on the other hand, isn't the greatest from what I have listened back to. Now, quickly for our I.O., you do have uh, two USB 2.0 ports here on the side, which are pretty handy, again, if you want to just quickly connect uh, something without needing to fiddle underneath it. So, pretty handy there. And then here at the bottom uh, back, you do have four USB 3.2 Gen 1 Type A ports, an HDMI 2.0 port, a Gigabit Ethernet port, Wi-Fi 6, and then also a COM port as well. So if you want to use this system more for a terminal or uh, in a point of sale service or stuff like that, then you can also use that for some of the proprietary devices that actually use a COM port. So you do have the option there. Again, same like we had with the DP20Z right there. Now speakers so wise, I was actually pretty surprised. You do have two or three water speakers and it was decently loud and decently quality as well. It was a bit more mid focus, a bit more muddy, but honestly nothing really to complain about. It was perfect for just listening to music in the background while I'll do some of my filming and stuff like that. So no complaints really again for the price point and everything that you get. Now, as for power, you do get an included 120 watt power adapter, which is the exact same one that you got on the Mini PC here. So pretty small, can fit in my hand, also not too heavy. Now, power draw wise, the max that I got under CPU and GPU load was maxed out at 90 watts. So you still have a width of the screen and everything on, so not bad at all. Media consumption wise, it ranged between like 30 to 50 watts, around 40. And on idle, it was only around like 30, 35 watts. So every time the screen was on, uh, so again, not bad. And then finally, let's see how Team Blue compares against Team Red right here. Now, it's not a fair comparison really because you do get a lot more for your money on the Intel system, uh, all in one system compared to the mini PC AMD. So it didn't compare to the base, unfortunately. So gaming wise, that was the biggest factor where the all in one system really, really struggled to get a proper frame. I wasn't even able to really record a gameplay uh, and also really play anything that would I would really classify as a playable. So on some more indie titles or really low end system games, so Dota, League of Legends, and then also CSGO, that would work. But a lot of the settings will need to be turned down quite a bit to get a really proper frames. And Fortnite didn't work. <laughs> so I didn't even, after that, I didn't really even try uh, other games that I actually tested. Because honestly, I wouldn't be able to even not play any games. But I was able to do some additional benchmarks. So for Cinebench R23, the uh, all-in-one here scored a single score of 1,403 and a multi of 5,350. Now the mini PC here actually lost in the single core, only scoring 1,295, but beat it in a multi-core with a 6,645. 
five points. Now Geekbench also, we did see a better single core performance on the Intel system compared to the AMD, but multi-core, the AMD one. So Geekbench are five a single, we got 1,441 on the all-in-one and 1,216 on the mini PC. Multi, 3,818 on the all-in-one and 4,133 on the mini PC. Next up was a Blender's a BMW benchmark where we got 8 minutes and 20 seconds on the Intel system and 7 minutes and 42 seconds on the Mini AMD system. So definitely some performance differences between the two systems. Again, one can actually game on and the other one not really but you do get a lot more for your buck with the all-in-one system here. So if you're not going to game or any idea if you want to game, then the all-in-one is going to be a better buy because you do get so much more. But potentially if you want to have a home media system that you can game on or let the kids play on, then the system right here would actually be a nice addition for that. But for office work, I think this one is going to be a much better buy. Now, like I mentioned in the mini PC video, you can actually build a pretty decent PC, custom PC for $800. And then you do have the option of upgrading it later in the future with a dedicated GPU and so on. But you will still need to spend a lot more money on a webcam, a monitor, and also peripherals if you want to go that route. But you do have the options of everything. So that's pretty much it for my look at the MSI AP24-1 all-in-one monitor. So if you guys want to check it out for yourself, I will leave a link in the video description. Uh, also the video for the mini PC here, the DP20Z. <laughs> check that out. A big thanks to MSI South Africa for sending both of these over for our videos. And I do hope you guys enjoyed it. And I will check all of you guys next time. Cheers guys.